All right, now, uh, since we already have the uh, car race set up, next what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the assets for a track, uh, for a for a scene with the obstacles and track that we're going to build. So, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to download the sim simple city pack free version playing. Um, if you click on the link in the description, it will take you straight to there, or you can just go to asset store and just type in uh, simple city uh, pack plane. Once you do that, uh, do the same thing. It will actually to download. Uh, once you download it, then it will actually open up in Unity. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to open it up in Unity. Okay, so so once you get the uh, the uh, the asset, uh, go down, click on uh, either uh, download or import. Then once you uh, download it, then import. Click on import to import all the uh, assets. All right now, it's going to uh, import all the assets for us. And as you see, uh, assets are imported. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, build this scene up. All right, to so build the scene up, go ahead and highlight the car, and then go over here and deselect it, and then so we get this out of the way. So let's go ahead and build the scene up. So basically, what we need is to go select. Uh, first off. Go ahead and create a game mob, empty game mob first. Go to create, uh, create empty. Uh, we're gonna call this land. Go over here and zero everything out by clicking up this uh, settings icon right here. Click reset position. And from land, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're gonna select the simple city, then prefabs, then what we're looking for is street. There you go, street. Then drag the street into land. Then you have the uh, street icon there, uh, zeroed out. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can see it further. Now I'm holding down the middle mouse button and moving the mouse mouse down so I can uh, drag it up up to uh, to a C. All right, now, now from the from these axes right here, we want the X to be right here. All right, and then once you select the land and rotate it 90 degrees. All right, not 90, 90 degrees. All right. All right, so it's going to be four up and then three wide. So, so control. So if you hold down Control D, first highlight it. Hold down Control D, and now duplicate it. Move it to the side, and then holding down the Z key, it'll allow you to uh, flip it on there, and then do the same. Control D, move it to the to the left, then hold down the B to, to snip it in there. And then using using this, hold on shift, we're gonna do it uh, uh, add three more. Move it up. Now I'm gonna pan around by holding the left mouse button and the D key so I can move around and and uh Moving the mouse over so I can rotate it over, so I can get a better view. Then put V, snap it, snap it in there. Control D again, move it, snap it in there. And so we need uh, need one more. Control D, and V key, snap it in there. All right. Then next, next we're going to build these the sides. So each side is going to be 32. So going over to the stone floor, 
See the stone floor? Drag this over into the land. Go over here and reset it. Bring it over. And then click Control V and snap it in there. By just boom, snapping it in there. So this is going to be four wide, eight high. And this doing is duplicating it. And then next, out on the shift key. And then we need eight of these, so seven more. So all I'm doing is just to pressing control D, control D to duplicate it, control V to snap in place. Make sure you snap that in place. Show the again. All right. And since I have that all, all, all in there, what I could do is, let's go over here. Hold down, shift. I like the first stone tab, stone forge. Hold down the shift, copy it, then con control D2. We're going to copy it over there, move it over. Hold on the V key, and then, then we should have, have our land. All right? And once that's done, what I'd like you to do is go over to your assets, right click inside the assets, click create folder. Call this prefab. Okay? And then once that's done, drag prefab over. And then and that's done. Now since this land's done, we're gonna rename this site one. Site one. And we're gonna add our buildings. So go over to uh, the prefab. We're just gonna just to start start putting buildings, building, buildings uh on the stone, stone uh stone floor. So drag the build in on the on under the hierarchy, and then from the hierarchy, move it in. And we're just going to make it smaller. Do 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 on the X, Y, and Z scales. Then rotating this 90 degrees. Actually, 180. Sorry. 180 degrees. And bring this back. And move it back a little bit. So, and probably raise it up a little bit. Like so, and then uh, next, move it up over there to the edge a little bit too. And then we're going to go ahead and drag, uh, let's see here, another building. Or better yet, we'll just duplicate this. All right, duplicate it, and then we're going to make a drag a different building. Let's see here. All right, do the, do this one. 
do the house drag into the scene we went in same 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.75 Drag a, I'll drag another one, a smaller one. Try to build an M. Let's try to build an M. Drag build an M in here. Put it over. Point seventy five. Point seventy five. Point seventy five. I'll do this 90. Let's see, this is the. Actually, I think that's the front. All right. And then next, duplicate this by pressing Control D. Zero out the uh, zero out the Y. This is gonna be it's gonna make it so this will allow if when when Taylor plays it, they won't see all that all this right here. So that's why I'm making I'm making these uh these zoom kits. Holding down shift. To select them both, Control D again. Move this over, over here. And I'm going to do 180. And then that's Site 1. Site one, drag all these into site one, and then drag site one, put it over into your prefab that we created, and then just go ahead and delete site one, then drag the land into the hierarchy and name this site two. And site two, you have a choice to put whatever you want on this one. So I'm gonna do site two, and what I want you to do is to uh, create uh, site three, four, and five uh, using your, uh, by using the assets here, or if you click on the link below, uh, that will take you to other um, assets. If you if you want to use uh, other models uh, for for this uh, the, the, this game, or for, for right now, just just use these these free models, or you can just uh, just use better models. But uh, let's go ahead and drag one of these. I'm just, just dragging uh, any any model that I see on here, and I am going to. It's 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. And then I'm going to put a right. See another building. That's the same building. Let's just do this building. So we need it. Uh, build over here. Put it in the hierarchy. Always put the stuff in the hierarchy. Same. 175. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. And then 
180. Then on this side, I'm just going to use a shop. So see, there's a store here, shop. Even the hierarchy. 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Because all I'm doing is just, just placing these models. That's basically it. Shop. And I'm going to probably do this building here, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, right? Now I'm just going to duplicate these two by holding shift. Zero out the uh, inch, zero out the Y. So this, all right, and then let's build in. So, a little bit closer. Same thing. Just flying in by holding down the left mouse and the W and S A D keys. I like this building. Bring this up, and then I'm gonna do the same. Just duplicate it by highlighting these two, and move it over here. Moving it over, over like so, and I'll, I will zero out, and I will zero out the, not, not zero it out, put this 180. Make sure it makes you like a little bit. Same here, do the 180. Yeah, switch everything to local. So go up here and switch everything local. Because when you're when you're doing that, it it'll it won't move all the way over over when you when you do that. So that's site. That is site two. So drag, select all these. We're on this side two, and then bring site two into your prefab and delete site two. So, like I said, you can go ahead and, as a challenge, go ahead and build up the others in which way you you want to build up the uh, uh, site three, four, and five. Just make sure when you grab the land, bring land a hierarchy, rename it to whatever site. And then just start adding models, or you can use the link below, the affiliate, you know, the affiliate link to the asset store to uh, get more models uh, to uh, build this up. And also, if you want to learn more about building levels and and more about Unity, uh, you can click on my Amazon affiliate link, and then uh, there's a lot of good reading material on there. And in the next section, uh, we will build up the track and, and also script the track.